Hello my fire signs, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a general love reading for this week. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe and share it to those who you think it will resonate too. And also hit that like button. I appreciate you. And if it does not resonate, I do apologize. You can check your sun, moon, and rising and also your Venus for love. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below. Alright guys, let's get started for my Sagittarius, Aries, and my Leos. Ooh, I don't know why my eyes acting up, y'all. Ooh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Okay, we got the Two of Cups. Damn, y'all looking for love. Okay, y'all getting stressed out about love with the Nine of Swords. Uh, somebody... With the Seven of Swords. You're tired of sneaky people. You're tired of sneaky people. That's what I'm getting. It's like you always getting disappointed in love. And with the Nine of Wands, I feel like you just, you about to give up. I feel like you, you're tired of fighting for, you're just disappointed. You're just disappointed. Yeah, Five of Cups and Nine of Wands. You tired, boss. This week, I feel like I'm here. This is my last straw. Yeah, with the uh, Page of Swords. Somebody could be spying on you. Somebody could be trying to, you know, get to know you. Somebody is definitely trying to get in your energy. They're going to probably get it in a clever way. Maybe somebody think that they got one up on you. Because I do have the Five of uh, Cups. And then I have the sun card with the devil. So somebody was trying to like, maybe somebody from your past. Like maybe you feel like people were trying to like digmatize you or like pussy whip you into loving them. Like they always had a motive against you. Always up to no good. Yeah, with the three of pentacles. Like I said, they always working up something. Like they always wanted something. Like it's always something, something, something. And you now you're like ghosting people like that with the five of pentacles. I feel like you are not on that frequency. I feel like you are just going to ghost them if y'all not vibing, y'all not vibing. First thing you see a red flag, you run. And that's with the eight of wands. Like I said, you run. You keep your distance from them. You, know, you probably won't see them ever again because I feel like you're just getting fed up with it. You're not putting up with the bullshit with the three of swords. There's a lot of swords in here. A lot of swords in here. I feel like this is a lot of mental. Maybe you've been thinking a lot. Maybe you've been thinking about what you really want. I feel like maybe you have been in your head and regretting a lot about your past relationships on wasting your time because you feel like it was just one-sided. Um, with the King of Wands, this is your energy. You're not settling for less. Okay, you want happy. You're looking for something home and stable with the Four of Wands. And I feel like if nobody's giving that to you, you you hauling the fuck ass. And this week is no different. Yeah, like you guys could be working this week. Like you just working. And I feel like... You're not really paying attention to what nobody's offering you because they're not offering you much. But there's one raggedy ass rose and you just sipping on your tea, minding your business, sipping on your tea. Because you're looking for your divine with the four of wands. I feel like there's like somebody who's going to be in your DMs because look at this, the higher find the high priestess. I told you, somebody's going to be in your DM because you're the high priestess or you could be the Hierophant, whichever it resonate with. But um, if you're the high priestess, your divine is coming in. With the eight of wands, that's somebody that, that's about to like make make your day, make your day. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah, with the eight of wands, somebody's about to communicate to you. They're about to feed you grapes and stuff like this. Your divine masculine is coming in. With the three of wands. They could live afar from you. Like they probably don't live close. But they don't care. They're going to take that drive or take that flight for you. 
as soon as y'all get to know each other, like this week is going to be the initiation of a conversation. Like this person going to be like, you're the one. Boom. And you don't matter. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's get to know each other. Or you going to have to be the one to slow it down. Because this person is going to know what they want. So the King of Wands could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, another fire sign who's going to know what they want. And they're not settling for less either. It's like y'all going to be on the same vibration. Look what I got. Twin flame real love on the top deck, y'all. I cannot make that stuff up. I didn't even shuffle yet. Look. Materials, no fun without with no funds. You're in the presence of a God and a goddess. This is both of you guys mirroring each other. You guys are going to be in both of each other's energy. Divine timing written in the stars. This person is going to be the one. This week, they're going to message you. If it's not this week, it's going to be next week. It's going to be within two weeks. And it's going to be like initiation of something. Two of wands. You guys are going to... I have the same type of energy, eye to eye. Look how they send in, like, conversation, conversation, agreement, page of pentacles on a date. This is y'all on a date. They're going to try to offer you out on dinner or something, and I feel like you're going to take that offer. Somebody's going to be, like, FaceTiming because somebody's a distance from each other, so you guys could, like, FaceTime at first, but with the nine of pentacles and a page of pentacles, this is definitely them taking you out on a date. Because they're going to be like, oh, you single? Oh, word. Don't say no more. Because they're going to be attracted to you. They're going to like your style. They're going to like how your, your energy is, your grace. With the devil card, I feel like you need to be careful with the karmics. Like, with people with low vibrant energies who are going to try to trick you. But you're going to know, though. Yeah, with the six of cups. Somebody from your past that could be a karmic trying to come back. But also, I feel like somebody from your past could be your twin flame. Spirit, can you clarify that devil card? Yeah, the will card. The will. And the strength card. I feel like they're saying, do not look back, keep moving forward. Do not look back, keep moving forward. That's all I keep saying. What's the outcome this week for my fellow fire signs? Oh, King of Cups and Four of Cups. I feel like you're not looking at the past. Maybe you could have dealt with a Pisces or a Cancer or Scorpio, but this is definitely somebody that you're not. Um, I feel like they're saying don't miss out on this opportunity as well because with the Page of Wands, when they communicate with you, it's probably not going to be in the same type of communication that you're used to. Like the way they talk, you're just going to be like, what the fuck? And <laughs> it's going to kind of throw you off, but they're saying do not miss this opportunity because with the Page of Cups, this is an offer of initiation of love. Like, But somebody also from the past is also going to apologize to you this week about how they treated you. Um, but with the Seven of Wands, I don't feel like you're going to be on that energy of, like, I, I feel like you're going to forgive and move the fuck on. Um, but the Queen of Wands, this is definitely your energy. Um, you're attracting a lot of people. Like, a lot of people are going to be trying to come back to you. And I think that's why Spirits are saying, use your discernment and don't miss out on the opportunity because you're going to be annoyed by all these people messaging you. With the Chariot card, though, I feel like you're moving forward. They're saying move forward with confidence that you are going to meet the one. You're going to meet it. Yeah, the moon card. You could be dealing with a cancer from your past, but I also feel like with the empress, it's like you don't see it coming. You don't see it happening now because it hasn't happened yet. But with the star card, this is definitely somebody on social media who is watching you. Like the empress, this is you. You're the goddess. Like somebody's attracted to you. I mean, a lot of people are attracted to you, but I feel like only one person is really the one. Divine timing. So seven of wands and the seven of cups. Seven, seven. Look up that angel number. But I definitely see, yeah, I told you there's going to be like a lot of people that's going to be wanting to be with you. And they're saying like, try to use your discernment and don't give in to everybody. Yeah, because there's karmics that are trying to swim, swim around you. But with the temperance, they're saying be patient and be loving to yourself and be careful. Take your time and make sure that the energy is peaceful. 
Because if the energy feels funny, more than likely it is funny. I don't know why they keep telling me, like, use your discernment. I feel like because there's going to be a lot of people trying to hit you up in your DMs this week. And it's like, it's going to distract you into meeting the one. Because I feel like the devil energy is just trying to get you distracted to miss your timing with this person. But this person is coming in. You tell me more about this person, spirit. Yeah, the lovers, I told you, is a twin flame connection. With the Ten of Pentacles, long stability. This person going to want stability. You going to want stability. This is going to be a long-term relationship because this is your twin flame that's about to come in. And you're about to get clarity. Ace of Swords. Spirits are saying, always use your discernment and ask for help if you need help to find out who is the one because they'll let you know. Yeah, I told you with the Six of Swords, you're coming out of that energy of feeling defeated in love. And in, in the right time, divine time, and written in the stars with the star card that came out. You are going to get your time. Your time is written in the stars. This person, this is relationship going to be like, everybody going to think you're a cute couple. Like when y'all do end up together. Yeah, this week is justice. Good karma coming to you because you were patient. Yeah, you you were getting a little tired. You were getting a little weary. But you, I feel like you, had, you wasn't fucking with nobody unless you saw something in them. And I feel like you would cut them off in a quickie. If they weren't doing, you know, doing what they needed to do with the Eight of Swords. Because you refuse to be in your head anymore. Yeah, about these karmics. Because, like, they were trying to, like, sexualize you. Like, all they wanted was sex or some type of, like, always wanted to drink. Or just do things that wasn't even in your vibration anymore. Yeah, so now they want to apologize. But they always got motives. That's why Spirits are saying be careful. Because this week, you're going to get a lot of messages where people have motives. They telling me your twin flame is coming. Could be a Gemini or it could just be twin flame. Like this is your twin flame with the Knight of Swords. They're coming fast. Knight of Swords energy is like psh, fast as fuck. They say stay strong. Hold your ground. Do not just give in to anybody just because we saying that this is you know you're gonna meet that person this week. Don't mean it's just gonna be anybody. You know keep your eyes open and don't miss the opportunity. Stay focused. Don't miss the opportunity. The Hierophant. This is destined. This is written in the stars. This is divine timing. This week, somebody's going to message you. I'm telling you. And then when they do, message me. And let me know what's up. With the Page of Wands, you're getting communication. Look how she her head's tilted down. This is like a sigh of relief. Like, I finally found my one. This is what's going to happen. With the Six of Cups, let go of the past. This is new love. For, yeah, this is new love. You're ending karmic cycles. You're going to be kind of confused with the Two of Swords. You're going to be at a crossroads. But I see you blocking people. You're blocking players from the Himalayas. And you're freeing yourself from them. From inconsistency. From karmics. And you're going to use your intuition and find. It. You're about to meet your God, Goddess. And I say that in the most humblest way possible. You're about to meet your twin flame. It's going to be a long road. It, it has been a long road. But you win in victory. Okay. And then you see that little hobo. He was like. <laughs> he looked like a hobo. He, he looked worn out. He's going to be tired too. Because he was like, damn, I was looking for the one. And dang, I found you. It's going to be love at first sight for them. It's going to be love at first sight. Yeah, they're going to know the truth. Truth is going to be revealed. So don't stress out about it. Don't feel like you're trapped. Because you're, going, you're not. Queen of Wands, this is your energy. Let go of the past. Don't regret anything. Take the lesson as what it is. Because the Ace of Wands, this is new passion, new beginnings. You starting a family with this person. So Spirits is saying, Queen of Swords in the Eight of Cups. You changing your direction from cold to balancing out your life with your emperor. Your, you and your emperor is going to be together. Ace of Cups. A new love. A new beginning with this person. This person is going to message you. 
and y'all gonna be together, Queen of Pentacles, forever, ever, forever, ever, because they're gonna want to make you their wife. All right, fire signs. I hope this resonated. If it did, support your girl. Till next time, love you.